What's up DC Nation? Welcome back to another video and guys I had the opportunity to see the Flash movie early so shout out to WB, shout out to Arizona Mills Mall, such a cool experience. After the movie I got this bucket and yeah this bucket shows all three main characters. We got Sasha Kaya's Supergirl right here, there you go. We also got Michael Keaton's Batman who stole the show. Like, he was the best part of the movie. I'll get to that in a second. And then, obviously, we got Barry Allen, the Flash, the main character. So, this bucket was pretty cool. I also got a comic, which is a prelude to the movie. It's issue number one. The comic uh, came out last year, but the version I got, it was like a special edition that showed one of the posters. It looked really cool. So, yeah, WB Tree me well it's an awesome experience and now I'm going to give my spoiler free review to you guys and over the next few days I'll be releasing a few videos that will have like spoiler warnings on them so if you already seen the movie you can watch those videos but if you haven't don't worry I will not be spoiling things in the thumbnails I'll make sure to not spoil anything but if you click on the video obviously the, it'll, it'll say spoilers so stay tuned for those videos but for now let's get into the spoiler free review now this movie is directed by Andy Muschietti and guys his directing is so good like the visuals in this movie the cinematography and yeah just looking at the movie like the beginning of the movie the intro just when I got in there I was like wow this movie looks really good it definitely had a big budget and they used the budget well and I know there were some people before the movie came out saying the CGI doesn't look that good but I just thought the CGI looked really good and even at times when it looked a little weird it made sense with the context of what was going on now this movie stars Ezra Miller as the Flash Michael Keaton as Batman, he returns in the cape and cowl. We got Sasha Kaya as Supergirl, and I'll start with Ezra Miller. Besides all the controversy, he did a good job here. He was a good actor here. He was Barry Allen. And it did get, it did take a little bit for me to get used to his Barry Allen in this movie. I know he was Barry Allen before in Zack Snyder's Justice League and he was dope there. But here, it was still a little bit to get adjusted to. The beginning of the film, I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm really convinced by his character yet. But by the end of the film, Ezra Miller really delivered like his emotion and also his running got better and they actually joke about his running in this movie but yeah Ezra Miller he did a good job now should he return no too much controversy he did too much stuff outside the movie and made the marketing very hard to do like shout out the marketing team for this movie like the marketing team went all out and they did a good job even though their main star was doing controversial things outside of filming. So yeah, Ezra Miller, good job, but he shouldn't return. Now, Michael Keaton as the Batman, dude, he stole the show. Like, Michael Keaton, he got back into the cape and cowl so easily. Once he was back in the suit and he was fighting, it was so cool. It felt like I was watching another Tim Burton Batman film at times. Like just how Michael Keaton acted and his famous lines like, Oh, you're, you are. Yeah, I'm Batman. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Like, it was so good. Like, Michael Keaton definitely elevated this movie to another level. Now, Sasha Kaye as Supergirl, when she showed up, she elevated the movie as well. I was surprised by her character. I was a little worried because she's not the traditional Kara Zor-El, the traditional Supergirl. She's a different version, but it's fine because this is a Flashpoint type of movie, so it made sense. And yeah, she had a lot of cool moments in here. Her acting was good, her chemistry with Ezra Miller's Flash, and just her in the action sequences and the different twists that happened toward the end of the movie really elevated her character. I'll be fine to see her character return. Now, for the Supergirl Woman at Tomorrow movie coming out in a few years, yes, I do want to see a traditional Supergirl. 
I, I want to see a different actor who's blonde because I, I, I like a traditional Supergirl. But if Sasha Kaye does get cast in the role, I won't be mad about it. Like, she did such a good job here that I could see her as the Supergirl in a upcoming movie. Now, should she be the one in the upcoming movie? Eh, that, that should be debated. But if she does return, I would be very happy. Like, she was such a good Supergirl. Now, let's get into my experience, okay? So, my experience when I got into the movie, the movie was just starting, and the first 10 minutes of the movie is action-packed. Like, guys, first 10 minutes of the movie gets you invested immediately, and uh, there's a bunch of characters that show up, and it's just so awesome. Now, after the first 10 minutes of the movie we get more into Ezra Miller's The Flash, Barry Allen, his character, the backstory of the movie, the Flashpoint style storytelling and at that point that's when I started to lose interest. Like guys from like the 10 minute mark to like an hour in I was kind of losing interest. I was like okay this movie is okay but then Michael Keaton's Batman showed up guys when Michael Keaton showed up and my audience collapsed. Like guys, when Michael Keaton showed up and we have that scene from the trailer where they ask him who you are and he's like, yeah, I'm Batman. That part, everybody in my audience cheered. Everybody clapped and that got me back into the movie. It went from, okay, this movie's okay, to okay, now we get to the good stuff. So yeah, great 10 minute intro loses me a little bit for like an hour but then an hour in when Michael Keenan's the Batman shows up it gets me back into the movie and from there on out the movie is just awesome a lot of big action moments in the third act is really cool like there's a big moments in the third act that i'll talk about in my spoiler review that gave me chills like it was so cool and i'm not talking about the cameos yes there's a lot of cameos in this movie that i'll talk about in separate videos but those are cool but there was like a storytelling moment in the third act that surprised me and i thought it was really well done but yeah guys now my last question that i'm going to answer for the spoiler review did this movie reboot the DC Universe well? Was it a good reboot? I'm going to say no. Alright, I'm going to say no right now. It definitely gave a good send-off to the prior DC movie universe, the DCU. So it did a good job there. Like, we realized as an audience that there's no solution to that prior DC universe and we gotta let it go. We gotta move on into a new DC Universe era. And I get that, that was good. But up till the end, I was like, okay, this is a good reboot. It's like uh, the storytelling, it makes sense. Like Flashpoints is a good way to reboot your universe. But the final scene, when we find out who is going to be in this DC universe and what direction they're taking, kind of mixed on it. Now, could it still be good? Could this movie in the future be like, okay, this was a good reboot? Yeah, I could change my opinion. But for now, I feel like no. Like, just the ending of this movie gets me so skeptical for what they're going to do next. So yeah, as a reboot, I think the setup is great. Like, the Flashpoint storytelling and everything leading up to the ending is a good setup for reboots. But the reboot itself, the new universe, I am still very skeptical about. And I'll get more into that in my spoiler review. But for now, I want to answer that question. Because I know a few of you guys in my comment section in recent videos in like the past month. Ever since I told you guys to see this movie early. Asked, hey, make sure you include in your spoiler free review that is it a good reboot or not. And I'm saying right now, no. All right. But yeah, guys, overall, it was a good movie still. It was still a great movie. Even though it gets me skeptical for future DC movies, I still really enjoyed it. Great directing, great acting, very entertaining, a lot of big moments, and I was on the edge of my seat for most of the movie, and I'm going to give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend it. It's great. Now, could it have been a masterpiece? Definitely, but 8.5... I still think it's good. Like, I'm just happy with what we got. Now, you guys tell me your excitement for this movie down below. If you've already seen the movie, stay tuned for my spoiler 
sock, okay? I'm gonna have a spoiler sock video, and then we'll have a bunch of videos going over different spoiler scenes in the movie. So if you haven't seen the movie and you're just watching this review, stay away from this channel for like the next week until you do see the movie, okay? But if you have seen the movie, dude, stick around to the channel and stay tuned for a lot of awesome videos coming your guys' way. But yeah, guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs. Something you should make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next The Flash video. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.